Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends flashback, Winter Soldier. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends, the Falcon and Winter Soldier flashback version of the Winter Soldier. So if you have seen the Disney Plus TV show, The Falcon and Winter Soldier, you will know they show flashbacks of when Bucky Barnes was still the Winter Soldier, which has gave Hasbro the opportunity to revisit a previous released figure and give us some slight upgrades, which I for one never complain about as I always want the most accurate versions of characters available on my shelf. So if I can get a more accurate version of the Winter Soldier, then let's do it. So the previous release figure was back in 2014 with the Mandroid Builder figure wave. Here it is, right here. So of course we'll do some straight up comparisons. This guy came with two head sculpts, a fully masked one and then this other one with like blacked out eyes. But this is at the point when Hasbro were not using that 3D digital face printing tech. So this is just some average Average Joe, this is definitely not Sebastian Stan. So obviously the head sculpts in the box are already gonna give us a massive upgrade and improvement to having an accurate Winter Soldier on the shelf. So I for one, I'm always grateful for that. In the box, because he has no Builder Figure piece, they do pack it with more accessories as well, which do seem more realistic than some of the Nerf guns that we're used to seeing. So I'm very curious of them as well. So this definitely does seem a more accurate Winter Soldier, whether you use it as a flashback for your phase four shelf or you use them as your main Winter Soldier in a normal Infinity Saga shelf. So we shall see, we'll do some comparisons. But there he is in the box, there he is on the side, and there he is on the back of the box. A promo image with no wave association or anything like that. He's a single packed figure, but we do get a right of the wreaths. Though Bucky Barnes has fought to become himself again, in his darkest nightmares, his greatest fears still come to life that he is still the Winter Soldier. So yeah, as I said, this is definitely an opportunity for an upgrade of a figure, or maybe you missed out on that original release. It was years ago at this point. So uh, let's open them up. So here we have Bucky out of the package and with all of his accessories, which as I said, included an interchangeable head, and then we get some weapons. So we get a nice rifle and then two other shorter guns again. I'm not a gun guy, have no idea what these are called, but they are all unique. They're not two of the same. This one's got a mag, this one doesn't. Um, and then this one is just a knife as well. But at least they're painted in the solid black rather than like a lime green or something crazy. So at least they look more realistic for a display. So just first impressions on this figure, just doing a quick turnaround, it genuinely does look like the exact same figure we previously got. So let me slide all these out of the way and let's bring this other one in. So there you go. This is the version we got in 2014 to go along with the Captain America, the Winter Soldier movie, of course. So this was probably done off early concept art as it is. But the figure is exactly the same in regards to sculpt. The only difference is deco and different heads. So it is definitely an opportunity for people that missed out on this version to just straight away get the better version out here because straight away this new one is the better version obviously but maybe we can still make use of this other body as well but before we do some straight up head comparisons let's just zoom in and just check out the exact same figure and show you where those different deco hits are. So first let's look at his metal arm which is of course a trademark of the Winter Soldier. So both of them have the red star. The red star on the new one is a little bit bigger than the previous one but what I like about the previous one is that it's actually got a dark wash in the sort of rivets of the metal arm, which make it stand out a little bit more. Where the new metal arm is a different type of metallic, a little bit more shiny, if you will, um, but the sculpt hasn't got that dark wash in it. So I actually think the metal arm on the previous one stands out just a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. So uh, you let me know in the comments, but uh, this one has the dark wash, so you can see all the black lines. This one has the same sculpt, but no wash. So it's just more of a metalish, metallic -y arm. But again, the stars, are a different size as well but again those arms are the same sculpt just different paint uh, on the front of the figure you can see again same figure same harnesses but just different colors the new bookie barns is a little bit darker this previous one is a bit more brown if you will um, but yeah the same harness this harness actually has all the buckles painted in um, with the silver this one didn't at all 
Spinning around to this arm, you can see the brown versus the sort of more darker blacks costume. And then moving down to the front, you can actually see on this previous one, they actually painted in these extra bullet pieces maybe on the front of the arm, where here you can see the sculpts, but no painted in. The belt piece, exactly the same. Both got the belt buckle painted. Uh, more paint on this one, I think, and it's a darker color again. More brown on this one, more br uh, black on this one. And this actually had the knife painted on it. This one had it sculpted, but it, it was painted as well, actually, but just a little bit more subtle. Trousers as well, very similar. I do think the shades of darkness are a little bit, again, more brownish tint on this one and more darker on this one. Um, but yeah, very much the exact same, all with pins, etc., etc., And even all the way down to the boots, the exact same boots. Um, but yeah, just a slightly different deco. So there you go, straight up, not looking at the heads, obviously, first just looking at the figure, just letting anyone know, anyone who already had this version, then you know what you're getting yourself in for for this one, just deco upgrades, but it's all about those new heads. So of course, let's check out them. These new head sculpts really do make a difference. Like at first it seems stupid rebuying a figure just for some new heads, but when they make this much of a difference to the display, it's a no brainer for me. I always want the most accurate versions of figures on a shelf. And uh, this, I can now see Sebastian Stan's eyes uh, behind the mask. And obviously this one is wearing the half mask like we see in the Winter Soldier movie, of course. And it is still the COVID season as well. Why don't I look that good wearing a mask? Honestly, this guy looks cool. I just look like an idiot. Uh, he's got the long hair as well, which is a different sculpt because this time he has a bit of hair uh, sort of over the face a little bit. Um, but again, I do think this is much more accurate to what we actually seen in the Falcon and Winter Soldier flashbacks, but also the actual Captain America and Winter Soldier movie. So as I said, this will be my Winter Soldier on my Infinity Saga shelf, that is for sure. Um, but yeah, there he is. He looks really good. And the previous one, as I said, had the full mask. Like, you couldn't see no one's eyes. It was just the full mask, which he does wear for a very, very short time in the actual Captain America Winter Soldier movie. But then he obviously removes the goggles when he's fighting Cap. And then that's when Cap realizes it was Bucky all along. So you could still use the other one if you wanted the full mask look and then still display this one. So you do still have options to have a couple of Winter Soldiers on your shelf, that is for sure. And I will try this uh, fully masked head on this one in a second. But first, let's try the second head that removes the mask entirely. So the mask is off, and here we have Sebastian Stan, AKA Bucky Barnes, um, and yeah, this looks really good. So this is the exact same head sculpt, I believe, just without the mask, because it's the exact same hair, the exact same eyes. It's just that now you can see his mouth a little bit more, but it does reveal the actor's face as well, which again, they're using that 3D digital face print in tech, which really makes such a difference. Um, so yeah, there you go. I definitely see the actor here, and you can see the shadows from the hair as well, depending on how the light hits it. Uh, his head does seem to sit really low on the neck, peg as well so maybe he's got a high collar um, and also the collar and the neck peg this time is a darker color not a skin tone color compared to the previous one and let me just bring in the previous one so this is what we had back in 2014 this was our Sebastian Stan Winter Soldier right that's Sebastian Stan right right no way no way look that is the difference this is why we are living in the golden age of action figures people look how good that is genuinely looks like the actor playing the Winter Soldier this is just somebody. Who knows? This guy's been beaten up in the face. Um, but yeah, when you compare the two, it's night and day, people. Absolutely night and day. Um, so yeah, definitely an upgrade in regards to head sculpt. You cannot argue it. And you can see on this one, the neck peg, as I said, is a skin tone color, where this time around, the neck peg is actually darker. So obviously you can swap the heads on around and uh, it's not gonna make a difference to skin tone. So you can use other heads on this. So let's try the fully masked head from the previous one on this new body. And it does pop on there, to be fair. Um, so if you do prefer the fully masked sort of ski mask look for the Winter Soldier, which as I said, we do see in the movie briefly, uh, then you can still display it like this on the new updated body, of course, if you wanted to. Uh, but I also wanna see if the new unmasked bookie head will work on some of the other Winter Soldiers. So let's look at them. Here we have our Marvel Legends Winter Soldier comparison. The only one I'm not including is the most recent version we've got of Bucky Barnes from the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show and the Disney Plus wave we recently got where Bucky's got the haircut. This is essentially all the long hair versions of Bucky throughout the Infinity Saga. So we've got the two versions of the Winter Soldier of course and then this is the Civil War version and then this is the 
the Infinity War version. The Infinity War version was probably our best version to date as it had the gold vibranium arm and it does actually use the digital face printing tech. So this actually looks really nice. The Civil War version, however, was pretty good. And even though it's not using a digital face printing tech, you could still see the likeness to Bucky. So for the time, it was pretty good. But I wanna know if this new head sculpt we got for this recent uh, Winter Soldier will work on any of these previous ones. Mainly, to be honest, I wanna see if it'll work on the Civil War version. So let's try that. Short answer is yes, this Bucky Barnes head does fit on the previous Civil War version, but it seems like the, the hole for the neck peg is a little deep. So the head sits on there and buries the neck. So it looks like, again, he's got no neck. And also the skin tone is different, but because it hides the neck, you can't even tell the skin tone is different on the neck, but I assure you, you can see it's different under there. So I don't really think this version is gonna work on this body, unfortunately. Um, so again, let's try this head on the oldest Winter Soldier body. Again, yes, this new head will pop on the oldest Winter Soldier body, but again, the skin tones are different, so it's a good job it buries the neck, as you can see under there, that the neck is a different color, and also the hands are a little bit of a darker tan. So you could still use this head on a different Winter Soldier body, but it's not gonna work as well as I would have hoped. Here we have our most recent version of Bucky Barnes in action figure form from the MCU, from of course that recent Disney Plus wave. And this is the, obviously when Bucky's been to the barbers, he's got a haircut, still got the vibranium arm. And yeah, this is still a great representation of modern Bucky. But it's nice to see that sort of past and present version of Bucky Barnes, not forgetting of course all the horrible things he did as the Winter Soldier. It still torments him to this day, of course. That's what the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show is all about. Really good, probably my favorite Disney Plus show, if I'm honest. But yeah, there you go. There's the two differences. And it looks like the head sculpts are similar. His tones in the skin are a little bit different. It's like this Bucky Barnes has got a bit of a tan. Um, but yeah, they still got the same sort of expression. At first, I thought uh, this Winter Soldier was using this head, but just with a different hair sculpt. But it does seem like maybe the heads are different, maybe. What do you think? Do you think this head sculpt is the same as the new one, just with longer hair? Curious. Let me know what you think in the comments. Could be. And for one last shot, let's see all of the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, Marvel Legends we have gotten in the order they were released. So of course we've got the Captain America Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Falcon and Winter Soldier flashback. And this flashback version is the exact same figure as the very first figure we got, just with new deco and new heads to make it more accurate. So we have went full circle in our Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, Marvel Legends timeline. And you will notice that all of these figures actually come with trigger, finger, hands to actually hold some weapons. This guy doesn't currently, but he does have them, obviously. So let's actually check out some of the new weapons we got with our recent flashback Winter Soldier, because I'm sure we are gonna be able to use these with all of our Winter Soldiers wherever you want. So let's check these out. So the first pistol does seem like a new scoop. I don't recognize it. Uh, and it does seem to have some sort of attachment on the pistol. And you'll notice the attachment actually has a peg hole so we can put one of those flash effects in that we have got in Marvel Legends. The none come with this Bucky, but we do have them from Black Widows, etc. So I will try that. But there you go, there's the first one. Does seem to be nicely sculpted, some sort of unique Look, I don't know if this is an actual gun, um, but it's all painted in black. Second one isn't exactly the same. It is a completely different sculpt. Still has a similar attachment, but then it's also got like a scope and an extra mag. So maybe this is like a fully automatic pistol, uh, but it is another new sculpt. Again, not something I recognize from Legends. And again, you will notice it actually has the hole for a flash effect. Of course, he comes with a much bigger rifle as well, which we may have seen before from Marvel Legends, but this does look quite realistic compared to some of the Marvel Legend guns that we get. Some nice sculpted detail all over this, but obviously it's painted in black, so some of those details in the sculpt get lost. And there is still a muzzle flash effect uh, sort of hole on the barrel as well. I can't focus on it, but I promise you it's there. But yeah, this gun, I actually see Bucky Barnes holding as the Winter Soldier, so this one is nice. It would have been nice to get an interchangeable hand that could actually hold the pistol in a resting pose. But still, two trigger finger hands, you can hold multiple weapons. His last weapon is this knife, which again, we've probably seen before in Marvel Legends. Black handle, some ridges on the actual blade as well. Nicely painted as well, to be fair, but he only comes with trigger finger hands, so we can't hold the knife 
knife as well as I would like. It will fall out depending on what poses you're trying to do. And there is also nowhere to store it on the figure. There is nowhere to store any of the weapons on the figure. On the back of him, he actually comes with a knife uh, sculpted and molded onto his belt. If they had updated that to be an actual sheath for the knife, that would have been a real nice touch. Maybe we can still like pack the knife in to the, the sort of uh, to the bow if you wanted to uh, but then it would just stick out but maybe you could store it on the Winter Soldier if you wanted to and just to prove my point yes the flash muzzle effects that we've got with previous legends do plug into these guns and work really well Hasbro if you're watching if you're lurking in the background please give us more of these flash effects they look so good make such a difference to a display and for taking pictures and posing adds a little bit of life to the shelf and we don't get many of them so if you're doing an accessories pack 100% give us more of these. So I'm not gonna go over articulation as this particular body mold for Marvel Legends is actually over six years old. And if you've got the old Winter Soldier, you know what you're getting yourself in for. It still has standard Marvel Legends articulation with all the joints in the same places, but the lack of butterfly joints really sort of limits the natural poses you're gonna get out of sort of a weapon holding figure. So like you can hold him and sort of fake it, but like no one really holds a gun like that, do they? So it doesn't look too bad for poses or pictures, but again, not the greatest of articulation, unfortunately. If you've got the old Winter Soldier, you know what you're getting yourself in for. I'm sure all of those weapons will work with all of your previous Winter Soldiers as well. But now let's get into some comparisons. And first up, here we have some figures from the Captain America Winter Soldier movie. As we have Cap in his stealth suit, I have given him an updated head sculpt though. I think this came with the 10th anniversary, just because I think it looked a little bit nicer. And then here we have Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow uh, with uh, the older head sculpt. It still was pretty good for its time. One of the first MCU legends I actually brought was this exact Scarlett Johansson figure. This is the one that set me down the rabbit hole, I think. But uh, yeah, that looks looks good, but it definitely could do with an update. Hasbro could definitely do a better job now. So you're telling me you complain about buying updates of figures we've already got. You're telling me you wouldn't buy a two-pack of style suit cap and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow? Come on now. I know you would. Here we have our comic versus MCU comparison and you have to give it up to Marvel Studios because they really do do a great job at taking some of these character designs from the comics and adding them to live action without making them look ridiculous. So uh, yeah, these are really good comparison for MCU versus comic, clearly the Winter Soldier. And since this is technically the Falcon and Winter Soldier flashback, here we have a couple of characters from the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show with the new Falcon Captain America and the previous Captain America, John Walker. And then finally, here we have the Winter Soldier compared to Captain Britain and Hellfire Hank. So, final thoughts on this flashback Winter Soldier. So, obviously, yes, this is a straight-up reissue of a figure that we got in 2014 with deco changes, new heads, and some new weapons. So, if you don't want it, you don't have to buy it. If you are happy with your previous version of Winter Soldier you have on your shelf, then not a problem. Move along, there are plenty of Marvel Legends. But if you, like me, want the most accurate versions of these characters we love from screen on plastic, then this is a definitely a worthy upgrade. The face sculpts are just night and day at how much better they are. The weapons are a nice update as well as they're more realistic and I do think the deco changes are subtle but more accurate to what we see on screen as well. So I overall do think this is a nice upgrade but if you're not into upgrading your collection then don't worry about it but for me I want the most accurate versions of these characters and those updated face sculpts with the actual actor likeness make all the difference. It genuinely looks like the key people we see on screen in plastic. That's what it's all about for me. So for me, I'm happy. I'm not going to sit here and complain. I've done all the comparisons. I've shown you all the different options. And if I haven't convinced you, then this obviously isn't for you. But if you're watching this video, you probably are on the fence. Maybe you want to get it. Should you upgrade? I obviously, you're coming to the wrong person. I think you should. This is definitely a worthy upgrade to your collection. And let's be honest, if you, even if you have the previous one, this can fit into a phase four display as it is technically the Falcon and Winter Soldier flash back version so you put it at the back of your phase 4 display and it will still make sense but again if I haven't convinced you by now then this probably isn't for you but I think it's a really nice upgrade and I don't mind Hasbro doing stuff like this you are giving us the option to upgrade if we want to and I for one are grateful for that there are still plenty of more Marvel Legends that are worthy for an upgrade to give us the sort of updates that the modern Marvel Legends and collector deserve so yes keep them coming Hasbro keep them coming I like them so if you like me agree let me know in the comments or if you were just skipping this in 
entirely, then let me know in the comments. I'm always curious to see which side of the fence you sit on. But if you like Marvel Legends, then trust me, you're on the right side. Go and check out the videos tab, find the playlist, but most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. As always, you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Thank you very much. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well. Tweet to me at Dan Who Reviews. And until then, people, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.